Hi everybody, Miss Kathy here. We are on episode two of Reading with Miss Kathy. And today we are going to read a Pete the Cat book. I know you guys love these books. I chose this one just for you guys. It's called Pete the Cat's Family Road Trip. Here we have our cover and our author is Kimberly and James Dean. What do you see on the cover? Do you see the red car? And how many people are in the car? We have, let's count together. One, two, three, four. Four people in the car. Do you see Pete the Cat? I see him right here. Well, let's get started. Let's start reading. Pete, Bob, Mom, and Dad are going on a road trip across the United States. Dad loads the bags on the roof. Mom picks the music. Bob and Pete grab the bike. They're loading stuff on the car. The first stop is Niagara Falls. They ride a boat to see the waterfall up close. Pete loves pretending he's the captain. Next stop is Boston. The family walks the Freedom Trail. They take a photo in front of Paul Revere's house. Historic and cool, says Bob. They went from Niagara Falls, which is in Canada, to Boston, which is in the United States on the East Coast. Now they are off to a new city. It is New York City. The family takes an elevator to the top of One World Trade Center. Look, it's the Statue of Liberty, says Dad. Now, where did they go? They're in New York. Have you ever been to New York? I haven't. I have yet to go. In Savannah, they ride a riverboat. Pete orders a slice of peach pie. Yum, says Pete. Life is good. When they arrive at Key West, Pete meets a six-toed cat. Your paws are groovy, says Pete. Right back at you, says the cat. Six paws. Six toes. New Orleans is famous for jazz music. The groovy jazz music makes everyone dance in the streets. Everyone is excited about the next stop, but then, uh-oh, the car gets a flat tire on Route 66. Don't worry, says Mom. We can't let this ruin our trip. Mom and Dad change the tire. Soon, the family is on their way again. Mom parks the car. Look over there, says Bob. It's Mount Rushmore. What a sight to see. The family stops to take a photo. Mount Rushmore, there's faces of some presidents of the United States. At Yellowstone National Park, everyone unwinds. The park is so pretty and peaceful. Bob sees bison snacking on grass. Check out those horns, says Mom. Suddenly, Old Faithful shoots water high into the air. Cool, says Pete. Old Faithful is right here, and this is what comes out of it, the water. Bob thinks it's time to try something different than a car ride. The family goes on a horse ride instead in Utah's Monument Valley. They're riding the horses. In Los Angeles, Pete checks out the Cat Hollywood Walk of Fame. Pete puts his paws in the paw prints. I feel like a star, he says. That's Hollywood here where we live, right? 
except we don't have paws. We they some people put their hands, right? When they get to San Francisco, they all squeeze into a cable car. Pete stands in the front and says, Toot toot. They're in San Francisco. Have you been to San Francisco? I went last year. The last stop is Seattle. They go to the top of the Space Needle. Wow, says Mom. This city is pretty at night. Finally, it is time to go home. We saw so many cool places, says Bob. What was your favorite part of the road trip? Asked Mom. Pete thinks long and hard. There were so many neat sights. The best part was being all together with you all, says Pete. Right. So his favorite part was being with his family. And right now, we're all being with our families at home, staying safe. Please remember to continue staying home and taking care of yourselves. I miss you so, so much. Take care. Bye.